This orchid care video is part of a series that will address orchid care according to ChatGPT4. I would encourage you to listen carefully to the commentary as I will be using what ChatGPT4 gave me, verbatim. Your feedback in the comments is appreciated because I'm super interested what your take is on the information provided, be it good, bad or indifferent. The only addition to what comes next is me saying thank you so much for clicking on this video. I appreciate your support and I will be revisiting the ChatGPT software every time a new version comes out just to see if the transformers are getting smarter and more detailed. By the way, the dendrobiums in bloom that you will see in this video are homegrown by a human, not by artificial intelligence. So welcome to how to care for dendrobiums according to ChatGPT4. Dendrobium orchids are a diverse group of orchids with various care requirements. However, there are some general guidelines that can help you care for most dendrobium orchids. Here are some key points. Light. Dendrobium orchids generally require bright but indirect light. They thrive in four to six hours of moderate to bright light each day. Avoid placing them in direct sunlight as it can scorch their leaves. Some dendrobium species, such as the Phalaenopsis type dendrobiums, can tolerate lower light levels. Temperature. Dendrobium orchids have varying temperature preferences depending on their species or hybrid types. In general, they prefer warm to intermediate temperatures. Provide daytime temperatures between 65 degrees Fahrenheit, 18 degrees Celsius, and 85 degrees Fahrenheit, 29 degrees Celsius, with a slight drop to 55 degrees Fahrenheit, 13 degrees Celsius, to 60 degrees Fahrenheit, 16 degrees Celsius at night. Again, different dendrobiums may have specific temperature requirements, so it's best to research the specific variety you have. Watering. Dendrobiums have different watering requirements depending on their growth patterns and the potting medium used. Generally, water them thoroughly when the potting mix feels dry to the touch. Avoid letting them sit in standing water as it can cause root rot. During active growth, water more frequently and reduce watering during their rest period. Humidity. Dendrobium orchids appreciate moderate to high humidity levels, typically around 50 to 70 percent. You can increase humidity by using a humidifier, placing the orchids on trays with water and pebbles, or grouping them together. Potting mix. The potting mix for dendrobium orchids should provide good drainage while retaining some moisture. A common mix consists of medium-grade orchid bark, perlite, and sphagnum moss. Some dendrobium species, such as the Kingianum type, prefer a more moisture-retentive mix. Fertilization. Feed dendrobium orchids with a balanced orchid fertilizer during the active growing season. Dilute the fertilizer to half strength and apply it every two to three weeks. Reduce or stop fertilizing during their rest period. Rest period. Many dendrobiums go through a natural rest period after blooming. During this time, reduce watering and fertilization slightly until new growth emerges. Some dendrobium species, like the Phalaenopsis type dendrobiums, don't have a distinct rest period. Air circulation. Good air movement is important for dendrobium orchids to prevent the growth of fungi and bacteria. Provide adequate ventilation around the plants, especially in high humidity conditions. Pruning. Remove any dead or yellowing leaves and spent flower spikes promptly. If necessary, you can also trim overgrown or damaged roots during repotting. It's important to note that different dendrobium species and hybrids may have specific care requirements, particularly regarding temperature, watering, and light levels. Therefore, it is recommended to research the specific needs of your dendrobium orchids for more precise care instructions. Before I sign off though, would you take a moment to like the video and please subscribe to the channel if you haven't already done so 
That support goes a long way. It is so appreciated as is your time watching the video as well as your input in the comments. What do you feel about the information provided? Let me know. I have my feelings. The first time I read something like this, I have all kinds of things going through my mind, but I want to hear from you. So thank you for adding your thoughts in the comments. I appreciate that. Have a fabulous day. On that one condition though, please, that you stay safe. Take care. Bye.